So it's all about your image. How do you want people to treat you? How do you want people to see in you? The moment, they, the moment you participate in class, the moment you actively engage in your learning, the moment you excel in your studies, the moment you present it as zombies, the moment you become that effective learner, that's how your teacher is going to write a good reference about you. Because you are a responsive learner. You don't just react to anything that happens in your environment. Another thing is drive and determination. Drive and determination comes from doing your work without an external award. You just study because you compete with yourself, then you can do to the person who is next to you. I'm talking about raising your targets up high and developing your standard to the, to the highest level. Because one may say saying that I want a prize during prize giving. That's not important to you. What is important to you is you about developing a target to yourself and make sure that you meet that target with yourself. Because you're the one who is who determines your result? Maybe you don't know that. I do determine your result. If you study, you pass. If you don't study, you don't pass. Another thing is noble and now. Noble simply means your highest moral principles. As a person, you should always make sure that you are always upright and you are always honest in your school way. This guy will carry 60% pay and then you try to to further some answers in your paper sheet so that the teacher may give you 70%. No, just be honest with your math. Another thing is now. The power of now is you are saying that, okay, I'm failing, I'm getting a D right now, I'm getting an E, I'm getting a C, but my target is male. Male is merit A and B, right? You should make sure that you always find yourself in that circle of merit A and B. Because when you are in the next circle, you'll be an interesting student to the, to the high schools out there. If you want a space in Marshall State or in the or in Malay, the highest level means high schools, they're not going to do your trouble, they're just going to simply accept you, right? So, the moment you develop the now thing that I'm going to change my story right now, you will change the story. I'm going to, you will change the world around, even though you feel it's late. It's never too late, but it becomes late if you tell your mind that it's late. And then go and great. You need to develop a strong character. You as an individual, you need to have courage in everything that you do. Be, self -aware, be aware about yourself and about your space. And I'm also going to talk about professionalism and work, work ethic. How about the professionalism and work ethic? You feel about you feel that put out your teachers, put out people in offices, put out people in big big companies. No, professionalism and work ethic is, is a school. A school is a social environment. You develop relationships with your, your friends, with your teachers, with the seniors in school and other people. So you should make sure that you while you are in the social environment, you behave alike, you carry yourself alike that it shows that you're in a social environment. I'll simply tell you that oh, in our class, we had this, we had this, okay, during my academic journey, oh, for money I was doing some optional subject, and then from two I dropped this other optional object, and then I started home economics. I found my class in, in form two. I found my class in cover home economics for money and form two, and then I introduced myself to the, to the new subject in form two level, what I did. After, during that time, I consulted with my teacher, I asked for a textbook, I read on my own, I wrote questions where I didn't understand, uh, got in the school library, that was the culture which I developed, uh, I researched questions, I went to the teacher with, with questions. The first paper that we wrote, I got 98, and I was the first one in class. This shows you that the moment you tell your mind that you want to do something, simply you can do it. And I was kind of learning more again, wrote what happened. I was always, when the teacher was sick, I was in front of the class and teach the next topic. And then when the teacher comes, I'll tell the teacher what we did and the persons that we had a problem with. So you should know that while you are here, you're here for yourself, you're not here for your friend. I think you're always saying you didn't go to the You don't call each other in you guy, type of guy. Everybody put a go and give a So you should develop that culture of self-independence. Make sure that you have that personal culture about you. You holding strong you to your values, what you think is important to you, and having that Pays about yourself only. Me, I do this, me, I don't do this. So I believe in this training always ask questions. You'll ask me questions later. Thank you for your audience.
you've, you've, you've been in junior school and there were times where you failed and you know you this time you thought you were going to 80% and all of a sudden you were going to 60% and you get disappointed and you lose hope and you feel tired and you feel like you want to give up and you feel like you want to quit, right? It happens, again. Yes. You, all of you have gone through that, right? Yes. It happens, it's part of life, it's normal, right? But I am here and I want to tell you that I am a testimony of a student who worked so hard and at the end of the day I had a goal, I had a dream and I managed to achieve my dream. To talk about my name, I can't talk about UB, I can't talk about UB. I didn't know what was special about UB when I did Just because no, we are at UB, it was a prestigious school, I always wanted to go there, right? And I worked so hard and like he said, I can't talk about my name, I can't talk about my name. I can't talk about my name, I can't talk about my name. Let me tell you something that is very interesting about my junior school. I am telling you at this moment that from three, all came. I am the one who talks about my class and my education. All of them, the old, they started from January up until okay, November or October. He's on the other day, right? Can they give them a number of Moral education. Do you know why? Because I was confident enough to show my teacher what I can do this. You know what I did? Every time I get up on a little topic, I would read a certain topic in, pre in preparation for that particular lesson. And I would stand in front of my my, my schoolmates, my, my classmates actually, and I would teach them moral education. Make you feel like what I want to offer. But then at the same time, it was exciting for me because they can't have a but you So I taught my class moral education, and at the end of the day, I did the study to I got an A in moral education. Another interesting fact, when you I always participated, I always wrote the best compositions in the whole class. I got a composition and I feel like a sister, right? No. This one is okay. No. My lowest mark, my lowest mark was 50 out of 60. No. My lowest, I'm telling you. Oh. It was 50 out of 60. And you know why? It, it wasn't because I was special or because Nikki Nikki was forgot that's I guess the gas happened. That's what it is for but it was because I was determined and I was dedicated, right? Yeah. And how did result did it? I got an A as well in English. And the most interesting thing about it is that I was the only student who got an A in the entire school. No English. You see? So that is why I stand before you and I tell you that I am a testimony. That everything is possible provided you have the right mindset, right? Everything is possible provided you tell yourself that I can do this. Everything is possible provided you believe in yourself and in believing in yourself you start working hard. Okay. But every time when somebody stood in front of me, I would listen. I would listen. I was always in front. Not listening. Even if I have to come to talk to you, I would like to say, dancer. And that helped me develop a positive attitude. That is why I'm like, I'm not going to be Why? That is why you're not going to be happy. I believe I get But I'm confident enough to stand in front of you and say whatever it is that I want to say, right? So it all starts with the right strategy. Have the right strategy when I school. Have the right strategy. It is important that you start studying as soon as possible because of like, what? And it is not a joke, guys. It is not a joke. But tell about how. But when I'm on a full stop, hella got the results that you see. See? Who am I? What was my goal? Did I say I'm serious? School or what? I was not even talking about Zaya. Or what? We're going to have to make this job. But what about my brother? What about Zile? People are cruel outside, right? You will try to make a living out of something, and somebody say for instance, or like something, and somebody comes in and steps on whatever it is that you're selling, or what type of job you're selling, like because they disrespect you, and you know why they disrespect you? Because you have not created a name for yourself, right? So create a name for yourself. We look around for people who merit. But why some people don't have a pay? Laban, I hope that some of you are living well. I hope that Tato. But why some people are not Tato? You are living well. Tato, 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 Jana, Jana, Jana. Why you walk? It's amazing. Create a name for yourself so that when you go out there and go to one, one more thing, you are blessed. Huh? You are privileged. No one has an any senior school level. Ah, but this one, the gamma consider it because of his or her background, right? So create a name for yourself. Have the right, it's a raw start right now. Have the right strategy. How do I want to be on the hands of the Anna? 
Well, at what time do I work best? Do I work best in the morning or in the afternoon or you see who and you start implementing your study strategies? I am telling you, at the end of the year, you're going to pass. It is very easy to pass. It's very, very close. Close. It all starts with what? The right strategy. The second thing, confidence. Stop calling it confidence. 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 Have confidence. You know the beauty about confidence is that good when you have confidence, you believe that you can do anything. You believe that whatever it is that you want to achieve, you can actually achieve it because you believe in yourself. You have the confidence that you can do one, two, three. Now, 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 I'm slow, but give me a lot of panaki. Panaki mental size. Head. Mental size the head. And let me tell you, the painful thing is, it's because it's like a panaki. Hey, let me put the panaki. And then I lost interest in my side, unfortunately, which is a bad thing. It wasn't because I'm dumb, no, I'm smart. But the fact that I had an attitude towards my sciences and my math, I failed it. I ended up failing it. So, confidence. Have confidence in yourself. I should have done that I would love some kind of Give me a Hey, who are you going to do? Who are you going to you can always consult a different teacher, but there is no excuse. You have to Hey, internet thing, you can search. You can even go to a developer who is this scholar and ask them questions. Ask questions. Be inquisitive. Love them. Ask questions when necessary. It doesn't matter. Be confident in yourselves, guys. Be confident. Just because nothing here, I live in a different country. I live in a different country. It doesn't matter. I know you came here for a reason. Yes. 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 You respect your beautiful teacher and behind you. Yeah, it's all about the way you buy your heart. I can't call her. I said, I wish. But hey, let me tell you if you have that attitude, you don't fail. Like that. Yes. Don't fail. If you don't respect your teachers, you are going to fail. Because if you respect your teachers, what I'm going to do is hire my family. I'm going to do more. Tell me about it. All I pay. Right? Yes. Create a reputation for yourself. You will be proud of it. Right? Yes. Strategy? Confidence? Yes. Respect? Right? Yes. It is what it is. 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 And then I can assume you guys are smart. Keep that in mind. Yes. Ah, this is not my idea. Kifila, what class is it? Can you translate? 
It doesn't define me. What I did was, the first day, I got an orientation. I got a deputy student. I said, I can't be in this class. And why? These people are not going to give me competition. These people are not going to encourage me to work hard. Because I'm the best student, they're going to rely on me. And now I want somebody who can actually help me. So I don't want to be in this class. You can probably be a triple science class. Pure science is one.
gonna make it either with a merit grade, either with an A grade, either with a B grade, a C grade, a fail, you are right. That's basically what the coach says. What do you think you can, what do you think you can't, you are right. So, do you guys believe you can? Yes! Am I gonna see each and every one of you in here being uh, the best performing student? Yes! yes. Am I gonna see A's from here? Yes! yes. Am I gonna see merits from here? Yes! Am I gonna see uh, B or more from here? Yes! That's beautiful. I do not have to add more to what we said, yes. but what I can tell you is that today, as in now, you should start doing something that your future self is going to thank you for. Because it is at this point where you start to build the future that you want. It is this point, you know very well that along this road, more to fight. There's a school at the other end that's called Maruakula. Do you know this school? Yes. yes. That school is known to be one of the prestigious schools. However, that school, there were some kids just like you here who went to government school or schools who are there today. They're studying A levels. They're preparing to go to Harvard. They're preparing to go to Oxford. They're preparing to go to Yale. They're preparing to go to Princeton in Europe, in the US. I'm talking about Ivy League schools here. And the same students who were here five years ago, four years ago, three years ago, two years ago, that in Maruakule, just along this road. Just along this road. So the fact that you are here in the same road, A and Maruakule, how can I not come in while I be? You should be crazy in your thinking. You should be crazy in your dreaming and be like, I want to go to Maruakule. You know, I don't have to go to St. Joe. Dream big. Be crazy in your thinking. In the morning when you wake up, be like, I'm gonna go. Oh <laughs> we have another visitor here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy Babu.
I'm a student pilot in Canada, I'm a fitness trainer in training, I'm a photographer and I'm a writer. So I want to talk to you guys today about reaching your reaching the best and reaching your full potential. So she was talking about fear and faith. Those things. Fear can push you back, but at the same time, if you can utilize it, it can push you forward. If you're scared, how will, where would I be in five years' time? Will I be having a good job? If you have that fear, why don't you use it? Why don't you say you're scared of where you'll be? So why don't you use it? Why don't you work against that fear? Why don't you work and say you're scared of where I'll be in five years? So why don't I work, try to get a job now, save up money so that I know I'm secure in five years from now? Uh, faith, if, if, you, if you can have that fear, then use that and then have that faith alongside it. So I trust you, will very, very fun life. Uh, for me, uh, I follow my passion. I've always wanted to fly ever since I was a little kid. Uh, my dad would take me to the back of like the one time when we were in South Africa and see this place taking you know, and that would push me, push my passion. And there's even a case where I almost died. So we were staying uh, near Lanzaria Airport. And do you know where Lanzaria Airport is? Oh, yeah. yes. It's near Pretoria. So, yeah. Yeah.
Can you get back? I'm just gonna get into the castillo. She's just a pebble. Let's have them bloom. And I will stand in front of the mirror and I will tell myself, "Hey, I'm pretty," and all the like. So it 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 all starts with what you tell yourself. So it's important that you tell yourself, well, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am this, I am that. You make that declaration every single day. Even if it means standing in front of the mirror, you do it because it worked with you. So just tell yourself that you can do anything. And confidence is not going to you. Yes. Is it just to I want to know, to remind What's your name? Remember. Oh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I want to remember your names. Our names again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> this is Mr. Tiago Mukume, and the seven months old. This is Amit Babu. This is Rambo Mereki, and then this amazing gentleman here is called Koto Sotabe. He's an amazing photographer. Okay? Yes. If your mom has got a baby shower, a wedding, or something, you want a photographer calling your mom. This gentleman. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. 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 We have a few little things, and we should be actually check the fuel. We have a little thing that we put into the there's like a valve, and then the fuel comes in, and we see okay, there's no there's no water, there's no sediment, so it feels good. We check the oil. We have enough oil. Uh, is, uh, the propeller is there any damage to the propeller? We check the tire. We check the brake. The brake fluid. We check the control surface. Control surfaces are the things that make the thing you know turn and so on. We check them. Are they moving? If one goes down, is the other one going up? Is that doing the same thing on the inside? So, and then on the inside, the first thing we do is obviously check, uh, like we check, uh, we have something called a hot time. So that is the time we use to record how many hours we flow. So we get in for the seatbelt and everything like that, make sure we're all secured in. So we check the hot time, uh, so it'll be like 2,552.7. So then we write that down, then we go fly and come back and it'll be 2,000. 252.9. So we phone for 0 0.9 hours. That is 0 0.2 hours. Let me tell you this. Hope I answered your question. Okay, we'll be taking the last two questions. The last two questions. questions. Yes. yes. The crows, crows are usually smart birds. They fly off in the opposite direction. So I was coming into land, all of a sudden I see the crows turning towards me. I'm like, oh, this is this, 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 my time car. I'm looking at these birds come towards me. Everything happens in about half a second. Half a second the birds turn, fly through me and to God. But luckily none of them hit me, but if they had, I wouldn't be here. But yeah, if fear yeah, it depends from people to from person to person. We have a few people join the school and they want to be pilots and everything. They go on the first flight, they're terrified. So it depends on the person. Sometimes it turns turbulent, sometimes it gets people. Uh, one of my first flights, we went, we were crossing the airport and we hit turbulence and we have something called the altimeter. And that's an altitude. So it's like a clock, it goes around. So we hit turbulence, the thing went up and down instantly. The altimeter went like this. So, Terrified us, our stomachs uh, get pushed down. We have something called G-forces. So if you're flying straight and you quickly move, uh, gravity pushes on you. So if you experience 2G, it means you're twice your weight. If I weigh 60 kg. Now, when, when I experience 2G, I, I'm now 120 kg weight. So my blood pushes down. So I can lose consciousness. So I have to push my muscles. Yeah. 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 Yeah.